I'm Renee Ritchie, your creator liaison, and we're kicking off a brand new series where we talk to the smartest experts in the industry who are working behind the scenes to make the biggest creators even better. It's fascinating. YouTube is fascinating, and the numbers behind it are something that I wish more people pay attention to. <laughs> Sorry, let's try it one more time. I am here for you. <laughs> All right. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay. When you first start working with a creator and you open up analytics for the first time, what do you look at? So the first thing I do is I just look at the views and I try to understand if the channel is growing, if the channel is going down. And then after that, I go straight to the retention charts because if a video is like fun to watch, then people are gonna come either way. So yes, thumbnails help, yes, titles help. But again, if, if, if you have a boring video, the next time somebody's not gonna click. So by going to the retention charts, I will have a better understanding and figure out ways to instantly implement changes. I love the point you made uh, just before about CTR versus retention, because I think sometimes people look at click-through rate and they're not happy with it, and they change the thumbnail to something maybe more clickbaity, but then it, the video doesn't deliver on the promise of that thumbnail anymore. So CTR goes up, retention goes down, and then views tank. When I look at a title or when I look at a thumbnail, it brings an expectation to the viewer. And if you don't match that expectation, then the viewer is gonna be disappointed. And there's two moments where you see that disappointment happen. The first moment is in your retention chart, you're gonna see a lot of drops. However, a creator has to know that that's not the only time when a, when a viewer leaves. If you really think about it, if somebody only watches one of your videos and maybe they watch until the end and then they were like, this wasn't really a great experience, they wouldn't come back. So those are the two things. You can see the drops, but sometimes if you don't deliver up on a promise, they're just not gonna come back the next time you promise something. And that is actually gonna be detrimental for growth. You also talked about retention versus storytelling. And that's something that I'm super interested in because I think sometimes there's a battle between retention and, and maybe immersion, the quick cuts that get people to keep watching, to keep engaged, but at a high level versus like them getting really deep into the storytelling where they lean in and they're fully immersed in the video. So I see retention just as an optimization of your storytelling. If you can tell a great story or if you can present a great video, then it doesn't matter how you optimize it, it's still gonna be a pretty bad watching experience. So we really have to look at it that way. And what retention actually is, because we call it retention, but in reality it's called audience engagement. So if we really look at it, it says it itself, it's engagement. If somebody is truly engaged so much that they won't click out with the smallest mistake and the smallest distractions that you throw at them, they're gonna watch for longer, which improves your retention. So what is something in analytics that people are maybe sleeping on or not paying as much attention to as they should be? I think in general, when people look at their analytics, they instantly look at their CTR, they look at their AVP, they look at their views, they just look at the overarching things. But I think the hidden gems right now is everything behind that. There's not just one secret formula, there's one secret metric that all the big YouTubers look at. It just doesn't exist. What you would want to look at is, let's say you go to the advanced mode and you try to understand viewership by traffic source. You try to understand where they come from because that's how you can learn more about these viewers. For example, if you look at the browse audience, these are people that just either opened up YouTube or they went back to their homepage because they're actively seeking content. That's a big difference. The way that they behave versus, for example, a search audience who is specific in a topic. And you're going to see that in your retention charts as well. You're going to see that at the click-through rate. With a search audience, the second that they have the value that they want, they're out, they're gone. They have their value. While a browse audience, most likely because of how YouTube works and how YouTube suggests stuff, these are probably, browse audience tends to be your own audience. It's people who have already engaged with you before and they watch for longer. So even if they have had value, they might just be like, I'll stick around a little longer, even though this is a boring part because I just like this creator. Another one that I want to touch on is geographical data is a very, very fascinating one. Same with like any metrics like, you know, gender or age. Those are also some of these things. And I think that's where the true hidden gems are because it's information that people currently don't really utilize. And I think you can get so much more information from that than a CTR number that is very vague to interpret where we don't really know, is it because of the thumbnail, the title, is it the structure, all those kind of things. Patty Galloway is on deck. So hit that subscribe button, get with the contenting, and we'll see you in the next one.